Okay, we're getting through all these Timu hauls that I have. Um, if you want to see what's in here, stay tuned. Okay, so what do I have on right now? So I have my Milan Italy long sleeve, very soft um, t-shirt that I hauled. And then this I hauled last year or earlier this year. It's a headband with that uh, cleave. Is that it? The clover look to it. And then I hauled these at the time that I hauled these. this t-shirt. I think it was yesterday. And they're little gold like chandelier kind of dangly, sparkly, fancy earrings. Okay, so let's get into this, okay? So if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Um, and if you're returning, welcome back. We have Timu Hauls. Lately, I'm just getting through all my bags that, I, that came in while I was gone. And I appreciate you watching. So remember before you leave to hit thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, appreciate the thumbs up. And then also, if you haven't subscribed, I will invite you to do that. Um, that helps my channel grow. And then, let's see what else. Oh, Timu. It's an online marketplace. These are all items I purchased myself. It's not sponsored haul, but I do do some sponsored hauls for Timu. I am an affiliate influencer with Timu. They do provide me some funds to pick out things of my choice at times. And so this is not one of those hauls. But if you want to think about becoming an affiliate, please check the link below and sign up and then you too can earn some extra cash um, to make your purchases and um, show them on your social media channels. So um, you're welcome to do that. And if you're an app user or maybe you haven't downloaded the app, maybe you're still on the fence about Timu. Well, you know, Timu offers some great pricing and so sometimes you can find a better deal there. Okay, so take a look. If you download the app, use my link below and you can save 30% with my code FAV70814 on your first order. After that order, that first order, you have an hour to choose to utilize that 30% off. And um, after that first order, you're going to be gifted a $100 coupon bundle. I think it's broken up into three coupons to use over three different orders. So enjoy that. And if you had the app and deleted it and it's been over 14 days, you too can take advantage of that as if you're a new app user again. Okay. So all that information will be below. I will put the links to my order or individual items. I try to do the order link when I can. Sometimes Timu um, program doesn't allow it. I don't know if it's because a supplier has discontinued an item or they're out of stock that it doesn't let me do that sometimes. I don't know. So anyway, when I can do the whole order in one link, I will do that. If I can't, I will still provide you the links individually of the items that I'm showing here. So you have a quick, easy access to take a look at items. And if you do order from my link or you sign up for the affiliate or say you're downloading the app for the first time, just so you know, I do earn a little commission off of that and I do appreciate that. But let me know in the comment field below because I'd love to thank you for doing that. Um, so the first thing here came in this individual bag. It was in this package. And so it's like never used. They don't even have the sticker off of it. So guess what I'm going to do? I'll be using that. This is a set of 50 piece stone carved um, shapes and it was $12.59. It's $12.59 today and it comes in a little bag like this and these are not resin pieces. These are actual stones that have been cut and they can be used for jewelry making. They come, they don't have the hip, oh, they don't have the holes drilled through them but I have tools for that. So like you get stars all in different colors. Um, they're very nicely done. They're a little bit weight because they are stone. And you get moons, stars, and moons, it looks like. Yep, that's what they are. And they're all different, different colors and designs. So that, I don't know if they're really stone um, because they have some great designs to it. Almost looks like, I don't know, resin could be polymer clay. It doesn't feel like that because it has a little bit of weight. Um, but they're super pretty. There's a lot of different colors and variations. Can be used with wire wrap jewelry. There we go. We dropped something. Every, every video. If I ever show a video where I haven't dropped something, remind me. <laughs> remind me that I didn't drop it and congratulate me because that would be a miracle if that happened. 
Oh my gosh. I'm a, such a klutz. Okay, well that one's gonna stay down there for a little while. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks looks like. Lots, 50 different stones to play around with and make different jewelry pieces out of. Okay, there we go, there's that. Okay, and then I got two of these, I think. And these were 82 cents, so that's why I bought them. So pay attention to your lightning deals, because when they have lightning deals, it could be on something you're looking for. This is regularly, right now, $4.49, and I got it on a lightning deal. They let me buy two of them. Sometimes they restrict how many you can purchase. These were 82 cents. I had to get it. I had to get it. So they're like, now they're organizers for anything, but they show them as the cable organizers, so... We have lots of cables around here. Let me get this open without the crinkling noise. I'll fast through, forward through this. So you get the holder and then you get these in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different holders. And that's gonna be big enough, they say, to hold a block. To hold a block. I'm having some issues with my memory card. I'm going to have to get a new one. But um, I've been using the same one for a long time. Anyway, so you can stack all kinds of things in here. I was able to get a block and put it in here. And it does shut and it clips. So, good board. That's going to be a mess. So you can stack anything in here. They don't have to be just for the cords. That's why I bought it. Um, there's a certain way to put this block in because it is more narrow on one side than the other. But you can put your cords um, with the block, what it's for, all that information on a label, stack it in there. Um, I don't think I would stack it like that because those might come out, see? But you can stack it like this. They don't stack on top of each other they could go in a drawer and so 82 cents I had to get it had to get those and those are gonna be very useful not just for cords anymore it can be for other things so I did buy another silicone mat here this was this was 277 it still is and it is a 15.7 inches by 11.8 inches okay and it has a little rubber band here. It's very colorful. It's good for doing nails on, anything with resin, any kind of, I use it like for that price, it's so so affordable. Silicone mats are great for everything. <laughs> I just love them. They stick well, they won't slide around on the table. You can use them for all kinds of things to hold if you're working on some art project, jewelry, whatever. What is this? This is discontinued with $7.77. Let me see what this is. I don't even know. It says pink. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. So I know that Hey Everybody had shown this. I had, I also saw it, but then she showed it um, like in a community post that was a sale. And I know, I know a couple people that might like this. So I wanted to get one. It's discontinued now, and you'll see why in just a second. It is the pink, I think it's going to be nylon, tote bag. So this is great for the gym, great for an overnighter, whatever. And it is. It's the nylon tote bag with the straps. Um, it is zippered. So it has a nylon feel inside, no extra pockets. It's just a straight-on tote bag, book bag, whatever you need it for. Um, I can see why it was discontinued, but I got one, $7.77. Um, they do have other things out there that look like this, but it doesn't say the pink on it. Okay, that could be a good tote for all this stuff. Oh, okay, so this is a strapless bra. I know I saw somebody haul this a while back, like at least a month ago. 
And the problem with some strapless bras is they just don't feel secure enough or they're not going to stay up enough. This has, this has this like wonky way. It has little straps there. And okay, so this part I think goes in the front. Or that part goes in the front. That part goes in the back and that other part goes in the front. It's kind of weird. I don't know. The picture, I'll show the picture of how it's supposed to wrap around. It's supposed to wrap around. I'm I'm thinking this part comes around. Better be pretty stretchy. And then this part goes around the back. Something like that. I don't know what these straps are. So they're the clear straps. Is there a, oh, there is a place, there is a place on each side of the cup right here where you can put these straps if you need the clear ones to help you. And yeah, I can't, I'm looking forward to trying that out. I do have some other ones that just like, they don't have anything like that. It's just a, you know, circle and you just pull it up. And they work, I got it too big, so it's not very tightly. I don't feel very secure in it. And I thought I got a different color out. Oh, and here's the other. I bought. I hauled this earlier this week. 150 prompts. Life story. I had bought a second one. I don't know if I got this one for free. Um, no, I did not. I paid $4.49. So that'll be a nice little gift. Maybe a Christmas gift for somebody here locally. It's very heavy. I can't mail that out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I got this for $8.47. It's a love, lover... Um, wireless microphone by La, La Balor, La Balor um, which I think is in like a name brand or maybe it's a play on the name brand name. I haven't looked at the letters close enough. So you can buy these with dual mics or a single mic. I already have a dual mic that I ordered like over a year and a half ago. It works great. It does. And when this came out, I wanted to see the single mic. If, first of all, you got to keep everything charged. All the pieces have to be charged for them to work. My gosh, how do you get this out of here? Is it stuck somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. It's very tightly put in there. That's good. There we go. Now look at this one. I don't, this has a, it's pink. It's a little pink mic. Hello. But that's more like when you're vlogging or walking. And then you put this at the bottom of your phone. So I do think they make them for different phones. Um, so you take off the blue wrapper. you got to charge it. It has a charging cord here. It looks like it's a USB-C charging cord. Um, a lot of times these are already... Once you have it charged and you plug it in... So I can see the light blinking. It's going to turn green here. See? But this is not plugged into anything yet. So you want to make sure that's plugged into your phone, I think, before you turn it on. That's what I learned. Um, otherwise, it's not going to... It connects via, via the Bluetooth. And then you have some extra ear... ear uh, not ear, but another... Oh! That's what's different about this. Now I remember. So you have this, and then you have, like, the wind. I think it's like a wind blocker thing. I don't know what they call it. Do they name it on here? Live show. Oh, also if I do live, that's what I wanted it for. Plug and play. They don't they don't tell me what this is called, but this is one of those fuzzy microphone covers. Isn't that fun? That's fun. That way it should help block out some of the background noises or wind or but that's gonna take me a little effort to get on there. So I'm not gonna put that on camera. But how fun is that? Actually, the camera that I record on right here has it on their microphone. I have the little fuzzy piece on it. I need a little um, elf. <laughs> Gremlin. Something that's running around on my feet here to pick up everything that I could possibly drop. Okay? Anyway, pink. They had me at pink. They had me at the little fuzzy microphone. Cover. Love it. Oh, I better put that other piece in it or else we'll never find that again. 
and get that in there. Okay, awesome. That's awesome little thing. Okay, so we've been using the smart uh, sunglasses. Uh, my my son has. He used it all on his trip, and then he knocked his suitcase down. They were laying on the ground. I don't know why. I don't put my glasses on the ground, although you might think so with everything that I drop, but I don't. I don't intentionally put mine on the ground, which I don't think he did either. And then he tipped over his suitcase on top of them and smashed them to smithereens. They didn't shatter. The, the glass piece didn't shatter, but the piece here broke in half. I paid like $7 for them. They were $11.39 now, and I think I got it. I didn't pay that price, but that's what they are now. These work wonderful. And so I'm wondering if this is the same exact ones or if they're going to be a little bit more fancier. So it has a charging cord, a little, little cloth to clean them with. They are covered. These feel a little bit different. They look about the same. Yeah, they're the same. So they have one little sensitive button there. If you can see that embossing on the edge there see that so you would hit that and you can answer calls you can listen to your music at bluetooth um, it connects by bluetooth to your phone or your uh, other devices ipad whatever tablet whatever you want to bluetooth to um, they worked great and he loves how they look on him too they're not huge like mine were okay Lots of little bits in here, okay? So, <laughs> this is like messed up because this bag was actually the bag that I had to do a return on. I've organized these orders so that it's just one order in this bag. So I took out the other stuff, hauled it in different videos. And so I had one with the aromatherapy, um, like the one that had the dispenser with the liquid on it and it had leaked out. Well, it got all over this. So we're going to open this up. I did try to process a return on it. They want it back. So if it's damaged on the inside, then I'm definitely going to return it. But here's what it looks like right now. And, you know, they have the words kind of, you know, with the asterisk in there. But it's basically an end-of-life planner and journal so that your loved ones are not left wondering. Yes, you can do a will, and I recommend that. But this is also very helpful for those things that you don't, you don't incorporate absolutely everything. You know, maybe there's something that's not valuable, but it has a sentimental uh, attachments to somebody in your, your circle of people. How much was this? $7.98. I saw it all over by many sellers. So check for the best price. It doesn't look like the pages are messed up. Okay, so it's just the cover. I figured that adds character, actually, to what's going on. And um, kind of like it says, F, I'm dead, now what? End of life planner, journal. There was another one that says, um, it's your problem now, <laughs> which is kind of, kind of funny. I do have that kind of sense of humor, so I'm not meaning to offend anybody. And if you have recently lost a loved one, um, this is not meant towards you. I definitely send my sympathies for that. I do have that in my life as well. But I thought more for my husband and I to have some of our um, wishes marked down because I've seen what some of my friends are going through. And you know what? Sometimes this is a good thing to have. End of life planner and journal, a complete guide to my wishes, belongings, and other matters. Okay, so you would start out. I'm just going to go through a couple pages and just see what's all in here. I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. Oh, it's out there, sorry. We're gonna ignore it, okay, just ignore it. Written by, this planner should not be considered a legal binding document. So you would sign it, but it doesn't mean it's legal. It doesn't mean, you know, unfortunately, when you pass away, you can make all your intentions so well known. You can have a will, you can have face-to-face -face con conversations with people who have passed away and let them know your wishes. And guess what? When you're done and gone and, and in the ground or cremated or passed on, there still could be a disgruntlement between a family member. There could still be arguments. It is so sad what has happened to some families. And, um, you know, there's things that have happened that I'm aware of with friends and, as well as my family at times. 
So I just want you to know, maybe this will help you when you go to write your will and have your wishes wanted and desired. You know, it's it's the person's belongings. You know, it was their intention. I, I just can go on and on about that. But before you read this journal, you can maybe write a little letter to the loved one that's reading it, important contacts. Um, it also has a place in here for your passwords, for different... Um, applications like your banking information so you can make it as easy there it is other account information online account information gosh I tell you what something happened to me my husband would be lost because I control and manage all of that and he uh, and I have our whole marriage so he knows that I have it under control um, but how would he get into anything you know he does have my phone password which I think is important between married couples that you share all that and current bills so that everybody's aware of what's out there retirement accounts I really thought this was a great great little tool now they do like living wills and that has a lot of information there too but it's not going to have your passwords and it's not going to have those little ones and twosy accounts and maybe there's a lot that's come up since the last time you wrote your will or a anyway I thought it was funny with the title, and then it started me thinking, okay, seriously. And so, if there's information you want to share with your loved ones now, it's not morbid. It's not. It's, it's definitely planning for future events. Make sure everyone is prepared and know what to do on your behalf, and that they know what your true wishes are. And it... You know, in my business where I've worked and what I've done in the past, if it wasn't written down, it didn't happen. So you can have those conversations with your loved ones. They know what your intentions are. They know what your desires were. And when you pass on, they may still try to question that. You write it down. You do a living trust or you do a will. This will help with that as well. And you just, you can make it as clear as day and maybe that can help save a family from doing the split, arguing, things like that. Okay, that's enough on that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to bring you all down. Okay? Super important. I know families have trouble talking about that stuff. Okay. So you know the 3M, like, Velcroed little non-damaging wall stick-up things to hold pictures and all that? Well, those can be super expensive. And I found two different sellers, and I wanted to see if these are both the same. And they are. They are. So it doesn't matter which seller. I would go with the cheaper seller. So I got one set here of those strips, 30 pair. So you get 60 strips. They were $4.39. Okay, 30 in that set. This set has, mm, it doesn't say, I'm going to guess about the same amount. They were $5.66. Same exact thing, just packaged, uh, you know, in shorter strips. And you have just as many. So, stick with the $4.39. I'll, I'll try to put that in the, I always put all these items in the description box below, okay? Now, what are these? These attach to your drill your Dremel, whatever, and they are little paint mixers. Like you can put it on your drill and mix your paint. You can put it on your drill and mix your resin. Um, you get a set of four of these for three seventeen. I think they make even longer sticks than that too. So if you're interested in using it like for your paint bucket, but that would be like a small little bucket that you would want to use it on. Okay. Oh, here's the other. So this is a little different strapless bra. I think it has the same. Okay, so that black one has an under, that black one had an underwire, okay? So if you need that kind of support and you want the underwire, this one had it. So especially when you're strapless, sometimes you do need that. This one here, this one here. Okay, there we go. This one does not have the underwire. In fact, there's like, it's got the like little rubber grippers here. So it's not going to slide around your body really easily. And there's no support whatsoever. So your support would be this part. This part connects in the front. 
And there you go. That's how that's supposed to go. Both of them are supposed to connect in the front, okay? And that was $3.99. So together I spent probably $7 for two of the strapless bras to try them out. And I've tried almost every bra out there in the world. <laughs> oh, let me get these out. Okay, so I saw Just Jen haul these, I believe. She hauled one set or a similar set. And I found them. I thought I had a couple more than this one. Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's two different types. I found this type, which I really think look a lot nicer than these. So what are these? I'm going to pop up a picture here. Um, you get six pieces. They were $1.34. They're wire minders. So if you have cables coming out of a plug up the side of a desk or a counter or end table or whatever, you can, they have these little sticky pads that go on the back and stick on the surface that you want this to stick to. But your cable would not be dangling or just hanging loose. You could pop your, you stick this, oh my gosh, you stick this little pad there and then stick it to your surface and then you should be able, and they're magnetic so they're gonna stay closed. I like that and then your cable fits right in there. And they had large cables in there, so I was surprised. Um, you'd be surprised how small the really the little charging cords are, so you might even put one or two in there if it's all going up the same path. And so I found those. Those are okay, those are gonna work. They're not, not gonna work. And then I found these and I thought these just looked a little slicker. They were $3 and you get six a six pack in each. So I figure you're gonna need it a couple places. So I wanted several and if they work out after I re, like I'm emptying this room out. So that's why I'm getting all these videos done too. I'm gonna to redo this room. This one looks a little bit nicer. It has like the clear, and they come in black also. Both sets come in black. So it has like a little clear cover to the top. I don't know, you could probably put something in there. Um, it just looked nicer. <laughs> It's not necessary. It was a little bit more expensive. Um, but those are magnetic also. And that's that. So there you go. Get six of those. Okay, we have several pieces of jewelry in here. I'm going to go through the things that aren't jewelry. Okay, so this is kind of funny. <laughs> I was looking at this and I'm like, what is that? What is that, Laura? What did you order? Okay, so it's one set. It was $1.98. What it is, is if you're out pruning some bushes, especially if they have, or uh, rose bushes, and they have thorns on them. Oh my gosh. So sometimes you're just out and you see this. This is so funny to me. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So it has a sharp edge onto it. Has a couple different pieces here. So you have these other finger things here. I think this goes on your thumb. It does. I don't know which way. So it goes on your thumb. And then you can put this one on your finger here. This is a, a workout. And then you can just cut that branch or that flower that you're walking out and see. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's gimmicky. It's totally um, not a requirement to have this. <laughs> But there you go. It cuts the little, it has a little sharp edge. So I'm sure there's other uses for something like this. And we're going to figure that out. So make sure you have, it's very sharp. Make sure you put that protective cover back onto it. Okay. <gasps> Yay. Look what I got. Hauling it with Mima found it first. She found it first. I had to go find it too. It is the mascara with the extra length mascara extra extension. It's basically the conditioner um, primer for your eyelashes. I currently use the uh, L'Oreal. Um, very hard to find. Um, and then you have extra length volume 
um, with your actual mascara on the other side, okay? So that's gonna work the same way that I'm using mine right now. Now you can, I've used this stuff, the conditioner stuff or primer prior under many different mascaras. It doesn't necessarily need to be this. So how much was this one? Okay, I'll put the price up when I'm editing. I'll find the price for this. But so there's this. And then I was anxious because once she found that, I was like, I never even thought to look for that. And I am almost out of my L'Oreal. And so I was on a mission to find other products like this. This one was $2.79. And this is strictly the primer. And it looks like that in the box. And I'm telling you, this stuff works. I don't know this brand, if, if it's the same quality, but let me tell you, I don't get any raccoon eyes. I don't get any of my mascara coming off. My mascara looks nice. It stays on all day. Ooh, look at that. Looks like it's missing something in the middle there. Let's see. If not, it comes out white. Nice brush to separate your lashes when you put it on. And it should go on white. And then my practice is I put on my regular, I do one eye with this or a primer. And I put the mascara, I go right over it real quick with my mascara. And then I do the second eye because you don't want it to dry out and lose that opportunity to bond with the other one. This one was 133. It is now discontinued, but I did get that one. So my other, I did lose some video yesterday. So I had to like improvise, improvise. So this is the big shot. You can tell what it looks like. Um, the dupe of, and this is a primer too. So both of these are dupes for the same company, I think. And there you go. It's got the fiber in. Okay, that's going to be nice. Now, hopefully that won't dry out since I opened it. I'm going to put it all in here. Very happy, and I have Tammy to thank for me for finding that for me and then making me find the other stuff because I definitely could not even believe I never even looked for that on Timu. So that is a find. I love that product. Oh, look at this. Okay, have you seen this? Oh, my gosh. I was curious, okay, so right now, did I write down the price? 160 is what I paid, it's now 180 or 190. They make so many ones. And I can't, let's get this open. I don't wanna cut because, because of the wonderful things it does. We're off to see, those are, and so this is a skin that you can use on your credit card. I never heard of that. And I just, I'm very, very doubtful. <laughs> I'm just like, what? How is my credit card still going to work if I do that? So it is, okay, so it's already cut out. You get several of them. I didn't know you get, I, oh, so you get, you get different ones to pay based on the type of card that you have and what areas have to be cut out. So some of this is cut out already and you would just poke them out. It's all perforated. And then you can put that skin on your card. <laughs> so I thought, how fun is that? They had other ones, but I like the way this one looked. And people will be like, what do you have there? Yeah, so you have areas where you can, I think it's supposed to be front and back. I don't know. So some cards don't have any. This looks like it might be the back portion of one card. This one has like the little, um, you know, that little like silver or square that has like the metal reader part in it. You would take that, punch that out and put it on. This one has that with the card area punched out and the signature block punched out. Yeah, so it should fit multiple types of cards. I, know, I didn't know which one to choose. So I'll let you know how that looks without sharing my credit card information, okay? We'll let you know on a follow-up. We will let you know on a follow-up video how that looked. Okay, so we have some jewelry here. I think I found this right. It's 395 
I wasn't sure if I had the right one because I didn't want to open it until I got on camera here. I only could guess because, of course, there's no description. It said white gold, white golden. It's very descript. Comes in this crushed box, especially for you. Oh, these are super cute earrings. Okay. Very cute. I think they're 9250 uh, silver plated. Very cute dangling hoop with the little silver ball in there. That's very cute. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think the part where I showed the shirt, the part where I showed these earrings all got lost on my memory card. So I had to insert that and kind of do a voiceover for that portion of my video yesterday. So if you watched that, thank you for watching, even though it wasn't my best work. Um, I still wanted to show that stuff, and I had put everything away. I didn't even know which... I didn't have the wrapping for many of it anymore, and it's just... It was a mess. Sometimes these things happen. Okay, so here's my sweater. My sweater... Um, necklaces that I wanted. This was 280. It's called Cat's Eye Blue uh Cat's Eye Plum Blossom Silver. Okay, so let's see this. Pictures don't always do it justice when you're trying to figure it out what to get. This is really really pretty. Oh my gosh. It's got some weight to it. Let me get it untangled and then I'm going to show you. Hold on. Thank you for watching. Okay, so it's kind of like you know what a bolo is? So it kind of looks like that back here. So you have the two pieces that feed down here, and then you can adjust it up or down, however long you want those. Just sling it around your neck. And you can pull this up as much as you want. Or you can have it down low. If you're wearing a sweater, you can have it, you know, off-centered like that. This is really pretty, you guys. I like this. This is what I was looking for, something like this. I'm going to pull it up, take it off. It's easier that way. Very nice. It's got a snake chain to it. Um, it is like a resin piece that is set into this um, alloy metal frame. It is fashion jewelry. Uh you can see how it's like, kind of like see-through there. Super pretty would go with anything. Really would. Um, okay, so like that a lot. That's going to, oh, here, here's my bag. Here's another one. I've seen this everywhere. And actually, I bought a shirt that they showed on the model was that it's on something oh I don't have that shirt yet oh no I do I did haul the shirt it's the one that had like the seams that went down long sleeve I think it was like a neutral color maybe a brown maybe a tan color and they she was wearing this necklace which gave me the idea I think it's something like this this was it is sold out right now but you can check daily and they it might even be back by the time I do editing um, it's 179 is what I paid, and that's what it was. Let me get that untangled. This, again, has a, like a box chain to it, and it looks like that. And that's a big size key, which you want when you want a long sweater necklace. Yes, that's long. That's what I wanted. Okay, love it. It is fashion jewelry, so it's not to be mistaken. Um, it has a bunch of rhinestones in the middle of it. I'll show you that. Let me get that in focus. Pretty, huh? Very pretty. And then we have this one. This, wow, look at this. 179. This is a statement. It's huge. It's gold because I don't have a lot of gold, um, but sometimes the outfit just looks better with that, the coloring of the top. 
Um, I do that with browns. I like gold, wearing gold. It's a little tangled. Hold on, let me get this. And this is a very nice, I like this chain. It's super different. Oh my gosh, love it. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. It's not even attached to the, the, the holder. Oh my gosh, that floats in there. Oh no, does it come out? Oh my gosh, it comes out. Oh, okay, so it has like this stone. Okay, so you're going to have to make sure this is supposed to stay in there. So I think what you have to do is fan this out. That's what I think. So it, it ships flat. Let me get this back in there because I want to fan out these. So it's supposed to be rounded star. Let's see here. Okay, we got that. Yeah, you want to fan these out so that stone can't fall out of there. There we go. Okay, that's going to be pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait till you see this. Yep, you fan out the edges of the star here. And then that stone should stay in there. Wow. Okay. All right. Give me another second here. Because you want to make it even so that there's not one big gap bigger than the other. Okay, so that's your star, and it has like the little faceted, fauceted stone in there, cut stone. And then this chain is gorgeous. Look at this chain. Okay, and it's long. That's what I wanted. Now we're going to put it on here. Wow, that is cool. I love that. And I said it was like one something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on this because looking down at it, I can tell that I got it really like wonked up bad. Okay, so we're gonna make, we're gonna work on that a little bit, but that's what it looks like on. Super cute, that'd be fun. I feel like I have a Christmas ornament on. <laughs> That's so funny. One seventy nine golden five pointed five pointed star. Okay. That's awesome. We're not done. We're not done. We have some more jewelry pieces. I guess this is gonna be the jewelry hall plus. We're gonna put that back in here. I love it what I wanted. I wanted these like statement pieces for a sweater, sweaters and sweatshirts. So this one is pretty. This one was $4.39. Wow. Must have felt rich that day. That's a lot. Oh, it's pretty though. And what is it called? It's called a main color. <laughs> that's all that's on there. I'm sure the title is super long and in the actual description box of Timu. Okay, so this is super duper long. Okay, now I have to remember, I remember looking at this and knowing there's a way that this all goes together. And I thought, oh, I better pay attention. I better pay attention to that. Here we go. So you take this little piece here and you pull that down and then you have your, now see it's like that. So you're gonna adjust how long you want your necklace and then you can just pull these to make it tighter if you want or, or shorter and this is what it looks like on I mean this is what it, it has like a copper with the silver or rose gold and the silver I like that combo oh that's pretty okay and the chain there we go looks like that so you can see how long it hangs down. And then I would just like pull these around and then those can hang out in the back. Pretty, oh, I love that. That's probably one of my favorites. Let me know which one is your favorite. Um, I do like all the long ones. Okay, this one I just hauled. It's the same as that hanging. Oh, you know what? I didn't haul it. It was like, I lost it on that recording. Let me show you this second one. <laughs> 147, which this will go into a gift. Um, it's silver and it has an adjustable 
section here too. Okay, so it's kind of like, it doesn't hang as long as these. This is super lightweight. I actually forgot I had it on there. Um, it looks like that. And you can hang them like little metal tassels, you know. And you could go like this. You can go like that. Make it longer, shorter, whatever. This does hang like right here. It's a perfect length for that. Um, shorter if you want, but not too short. It's not choker at all. Um, it's very pretty. Very nice. 147. Oh, I love this. Okay. Okay, I love this kind of costume jewelry with a stone, a colored stone in it. This one was 148. It's hollow in the back. Of course, it's not a long chain and it's not attached, but it has like that blackened background on this silver alloy pendant. I'll show you here. Isn't that pretty? And it has like a topaz stone looking color in it, amber or yellow more. It's more yellow than amber, I would say. And there's the back, so you can see what the back looks like. But again, here's the front. Very nice. I love it. I love that stuff. So we're getting some nicer things, huh? And then this one is very similar, similar to that one. I paid $278. It's now $345. Wow. Is it longer? No. This is definitely... Oh, it's a locket. That's probably why. So you can put some aromatherapy in here, um, a scent on a piece of stuff. I think it opens up maybe from the bottom. I'm going to cut myself. Okay, I can't get it open right now, but you can see it's hollowed out in the back here. And there's the front. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty one too. Okay. We have that one. And last item, which is not exciting at all. It is exciting for me. It is a pack of cuticle cutters and it is 10 piece. I got it for 77 cents, 10 of these. And they're $1.98, still a bargain actually. And these, they all look the same, nothing fancy about them. But cuticle pusher and cutter, your typical one. So, you know, these dull sometimes and so it's nice to have a set of 10. And I use them for cutting the excess off of my uh, resin sometimes, resin and different things. So awesome deal, 77 cents, $1.98 now. So that's the haul here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone coming back and supporting this channel. And thank you to all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate you. And leave me a comment below. Let me know which necklace you like the most. Have you tried those different bras that um, wrap around and attach in the front? Um, let me know. Have you tried anything else here? What do you think about these clips, you know, for the wire cable minder? Oh, and then check this out. You, there's all kinds of different stickers that you can get now for your credit cards. So let me know what you like the most, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.